Hey you guys, it's me Julie. I am here with another video. So happy to be with you guys. Um, so it's Mystery Monday and I did not spin the wheel. Shocking. <laughs> uh, at some point I'm going to get a Friday video out. I think what I'm going to say for now is that um, I'm only doing three videos a week. And then if I get Friday, hey, bonus. And then I won't feel so bad. <laughs> Okay, so if you're new here and want to purchase anything, pause the video here. It will tell you exactly what to do. Okay, awesome. So I was going to do a couple house cleaning, keeping kind of things. And um, then I thought we would go into that jewelry that was so popular. The low-priced, awesome condition jewelry that I got for a steal of a deal. So I was passing on steals of deals to you. <laughs> okay, so housekeeping first. So, this is what's left of the wood jewelry lot. It's kind of hard to see. I apologize. This is like a bin that you'd get at like Sam's or BJ's when, you know, like they had products stacked in it. So, you can get an idea of size. Um, wood jewelry lot. I'm going to do this entire lot. It includes the um, crafting bag of beads. Um, you didn't see that. <laughs> it includes the crafting bag of beads and then these two craft items I stuck in there. And then everything that was shown in the wood jewelry video. So if you want to go back and look, just about everything's in here. And it's going to be $20 plus shipping. So if you want that, just tell me wood jewelry lot. All right. Next housekeeping. We had these 20, uh, 20. Can you guess what that is? Maybe the price. <laughs> I have three antique purses, not in great shape, guys. These are not usable. Um, like this one's missing its other piece of its kiss lock. They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Some of the beads came off down here. Um, this one doesn't stay together. Um, so what I was picturing with these um, is hanging them on the wall and maybe stitching or something to hold this together if need be, or even gluing this together, using them just as decor, unless somebody um, is able to repair. That's out of my league. Um, okay, so I was asking 10 a piece. I'm gonna do the three purses for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, and I'm gonna call that number one. $20 plus shipping. Number one, okay. My table's a little far. Hold on guys, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was discombobulated. I have a fan going on in the background because it is hot up here. I film in my upstairs guest room, so it gets hot. Okay, so I have three of these. I decided to keep one. Oh, look at how cool that one is. Oh, that's so neat. Huh. Okay, I decided to keep one for myself for crafting. I have made a journal out of one of these before, um, and it opened like this. I actually didn't have these working. It opens flat, and it's like a pocketbook. Like, it has a compact in it. Like, it's just really cute. Maybe I'll show you someday. But, um, so I kept one for crafting. There's an idea for what to craft with these. Um, so I was asking $5 a piece. I'm going to do these three for $10 plus shipping. And you can call it number two. I should have brought that journal to show you so you get an idea. Unfortunately, I didn't have an antique um, purse top, so I had to use um, I had to use like a modern one from the craft store. Okay, excuse my yellow nails. Again, it's testing solution. It takes forever to come off. It's testing acid. I forgot to turn on the professor. Here we go, let's do it. We're gonna do this fun jewelry, you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, first piece, look at this. New in the box, it's a Monet little brochy poo. Isn't it cool? Monet since 1929. It's taped in there, I'm not gonna take it out. It's very pretty, a little snowflake. I'm gonna do that one for $5. And the box is in really good shape, you guys. This is giftable if you want to. Okay, there's a little fold right here. Do you see it? But it's in really great shape. Oh, it was from Macy's originally. Um, I, oh, suggested retail 25 or 28. I can't tell. Um, okay, $5 on that one. Okay. Next, I also wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, so... When I tell you my sold list is pinned in the comments, I'm gonna make these lower so you can see them easier. 
Um, what that means is I can um, pin any comment and make it stay at the top. So after I make a sold list, I click on the little buttons to pin it. Um, and I do that <laughs> and I do it all the time. Um, but for some reason, they're not staying pinned. So I'll make my sold list. This is not marked, it looks guys. Very pretty gold tone, really nice condition. Uh, like a seven, size seven. Um, so I'll do my sold list. Let's do this for five bucks, guys, $5. All right, let me finish my story fast because I'm losing. I'm not, I'm not good today. I don't know. My eyes hurting me, so my brain's not working as well. Does that even make sense? I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it makes sense. Um, okay, so pinning my sold list. So every time I make, I'm stuck in the bag here. You guys are gonna like this one though. Every time I make a sold list, um, I pin it in the comments and then I'll leave and I'll sell something else. I'll go back to put it in the sold list and my comment is unpinned again. So I don't know why that's happening. I keep pinning it when I notice. Um, if I don't notice, sometimes it will drop down to like the second comment. It seems to stay up near the top. So if you guys are looking for the sold list, if you could just kind of scroll, um, if you don't see it at the top, I'd appreciate it. I don't know what's wrong. I'm trying, I'm trying to just deal with it kind of thing. Okay, this is a giant, gorgeous uh, dragonfly brooch. And I'm going to do this one for $8. $8. That guy is so pretty. All right, this was neat, you guys. I've never seen anything like this. So um, somebody, like, crocheted, because this looks like thread crochet, and um, then put, like, fabric stiffener on it. And then kept some of the cord for the necklace. Um, it, it is one that you could tie at any length. And then they added this cool, um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. We'll put it on the gem tester, but it is cold to the touch. I believe it's a stone. I am going to do it and I'll tell you what it says. Okay, it's only reading on the glass line. Um, I'm still going to stick with my stone guess. Um, I don't think it's glass, but there it is. Oh my, God. my nails don't look as bad in person. And then I get on camera and I'm like, this is gross. I'm sorry. I will paint next time. Next time I get my nails done. How's that? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to do this one for $4, you guys, $4. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. It wouldn't go in the little pockets. All right, so we have another like metal meshy kind of bracelet. Check that out. Um, I think that probably says 925 in there. Let me take a peek, okay? 925, you guys, 925. Okay, let's get, all right, we're gonna make a pile for testing. Put it back there. And we'll talk about testing when we get to that too. All right, look at this cool cuff. Isn't that cool? Uh, gold tone and um, like a slightly off-white enamel. It is not signed. Um, it's slightly out of shape. Oh, it bends back easily, guys. Let's see where it's at. Um, it's about a seven, but I think that there's room for you to make some adjustments there. It bends pretty nicely. Let's do this one for $5. $5. $5. So what'd you guys do this weekend? Anything good? I didn't. <laughs> I don't mean that. I relaxed all weekend, which was much needed. Oh, look who this is. Joan. Joan Rivers, guys. Check this out. It's like a charcoal color, these are. It looks pretty good on camera. Um, maybe a little more charcoal. They kind of look blue here. This is beautiful. Wow. Gold tone clasp. It's in perfect condition. Um, let's do the Joan Rivers for, let's do $8, $8. I think that's still a deal. I haven't looked Joan Rivers up in a while. Okay, got a bracelet, silver tone bangle, not in great shape. I don't think this is gonna be precious metal, but let's hit it with a magnet anyway. No, do you see it slide? slide with me okay so i think i'm gonna put this in craft for a dollar if you want that just let me know it's in craft 
so overall I think this jeweler is pretty fantastic. What do you guys think? I think it's awesome. Look at this cool beaded necklace. Look, they look like stacking cups almost right there. Um, we have a spring ring clasp and it is plastic, you guys. Really cool. I like those. There they are again. <laughs> Plastic and like a brassy gold tone, okay? I'm gonna do this one for $5, $5. Oh, you know what else is in this lot, you guys? There's um, a travel jewelry case. So if anybody wants this, you know what, I didn't turn my lights on. I'm getting so much light from outside. Okay, if anybody wants this, um, you can't even see it. Oh my goodness. That was a close-up. <laughs> I'm going to show this another time when I can actually show it. That's ridiculous. See, that's why I haven't sold any pocketbooks yet because I really need to figure out a system, but I would really like to show you some purses. I was thinking about at the end of each video just showing my two. Um, purses are my number one um, love, if I'm honest. And shoes and jewelry... I would say shoes, then jewelry. I really, really love jewelry, don't get me wrong. They're both, they're all up there. I'm having a hard time untangling this. They're all up there at the top, but if I had to put them in order, that's the order they would go in. I absolutely love purses, handbags, incline. Okay, incline, you guys. There is some zhuzh on the white. Okay, it's coming off. I think they could use a cleaning. Ew, that's gross. I don't even wanna know what that is. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Gold tones, stations of coolness. Look at that. That's neat. Um, I think this is in pretty good shape besides needing a little bit of a cleaning. Uh, let's do this one for $4 since it needs some attention. I think I told you guys that I got my first um, luxury brand purse at Christmas time. Um... And I was so, so excited. Like, I've never got, had one of those. I got a Gucci bag, a, a vintage Gucci bag that I had been wanting. Um, it's really cool. It's black, and it has yellow, like, racing stripes down it. I love it. I had been wanting it for a long, long time. So, anyway, I got it at Christmas time. Well, do you think I've used it? Nope. Because then I start going, oh, my gosh. What if somebody puts it on the floor in the car? I don't want to do that. It has to stay on the seat. Oh my gosh, what if I go to a restaurant and there's nowhere to put my purse? What am I going to do? And it's snow right now. What if salt gets on it? So it's absolutely ridiculous that I'm not going to use it and I have to really break that. But anyway, so funny story about this, guys. I also have a second one of these somewhere in that jewelry lot that I bought that we were calling vintage extravaganza. Um, this part is lighter. It doesn't show up as much, but it's very, very similar. And if you were at my auction with Kristen D back in January, <laughs> January, um, I sold one that was purple like this too. So anyway, it's very beautiful. It is stone. Let's see if it does anything on the gem tester. Okay, it goes to the glass line, guys, which doesn't mean it's glass. It's probably just a stone that doesn't show up. Let me show it a little bit more closely. You can see the different colors in it. My guess is it's some kind of agate. That would be my guess. Tell me how I did, Randy. I think I did good on that one. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, it's beautiful. Let's do this one for $8. $8. I was going to tell it some that made me think of something and now I can't think of it again. My memory. Ta -ta. Okay, we've got a tangle mess. This is new on the card. I would say this is a fashion piece. Three tier uh, with an extender, silver tone and white. I think this lady really loved her gold tone. So I think that the silver tone was like, eh, I don't know. Um, these little beads in between are faceted. It's in perfect condition. Um, let's just do $3. $3. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. <laughs> I just had to replay. I got it. I'll tell you in a second. This one is also new with the tag. Okay. 
Um, it originally went for $16. I believe these are wood. And that's wood for sure. And I believe those are wood. This is really pretty, guys. Look at that. Gorgeousness. Let me do a um, drop on this one. Just so you know, it's the shortest we've looked at today. But it's still got a good length. 10-inch drop. 10-inch drop. Let's do $5. $5. Um, so, I have big news. It's very exciting. Are you ready? I'm really excited. I can't hear you. Are you ready? Drum roll. Drum roll. Everybody better be doing drum roll. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, I scheduled another um, auction with Kristen D. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, no. I've been waiting for that to happen on camera. What a little jerk. Okay. Are these even real? Are these real? Okay. So these are real potato pearls and it looks like maybe some um, <sighs> rose quartz in between them. Um, and it's now in a pile. So it is going to go in craft for a dollar. It is well worth it, but I do not have time to restring it. And if I'm honest, I hate restringing. I don't mind any other jewelry pair. I hate restringing. Okay, guys, I have to clean this up. I'm sorry. And I'm not going to have time to edit. So you're probably going to see me cleaning up. Okay, that's going in craft for a dollar. I thought I stretched all these when I bagged them. <laughs> okay, so I scheduled my next... Uh-oh, Mr. Bead. <laughs> I scheduled my next auction with Kristen D. I'm so excited. Um, I believe it's March 30th, if I remember correctly. I will double check on that and make sure I let you guys know for sure. It's going to be tons of fun, and I can't wait. Okay, this says genuine sterling silver. Look at that. Actually, it just says sterling silver. Um, that is a tiger's eye with some marker set around it. That is really pretty. A little um, scarab. Cheapers. Couldn't think of that. That's cool. On the back of this, it says Thailand and 925. There's Thailand and 925 on the other side. That's really pretty. Um, we'll scratch test it just in case, and then we'll do a price at the end. Okay? New in the box, obviously. All right, we got another stretch. Should we go two for two on breakage? Dun, dun, dun. Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought it was black. <gasps> you guys, do they make... Hold on. Please hold. I feel like this might be moody, but maybe not. I really thought it was all black when I was pulling it to show you guys. Let's feel this one. That's really cool. Look at the carving right there on that. It might be mother of pearl. It might be plastic. I don't think it's changing. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So it's greens and blues, lighter green, and this beautiful like mother of pearl or faux mother of pearl. It's really pretty. Um, oh, it is marked as Claiborne, you guys. Do you remember I found something the last time we did this and it had like a four clover design on it? And I wasn't sure who that was. It was Liz Claiborne. Um, okay, so we're just going to do $3 on this one, you guys. $3 on a stretcher that stayed together. Thank you. Okay, what have we got next? Ooh, this is cool. We got a stone necklace, you guys. I believe this is gray labradorite. Um, it doesn't have a ton of flash in it, um, but you can see a little tiny bit if you really focus right there. It's cool. I like it. I like it. So this is interesting. It has a little, um, gold tone ring there. It's in a cording, a cord, and here's the end of it. That's cool. It has a little design at the end. <laughs> Does it say something? Um, I don't think so. I think that's hammered. Okay, so let's do this for uh, $4, $4. Okay, so last time I showed this jewelry, we almost sold everything, which was so flippin' exciting. Okay, what's this guy? I think it's acrylic. It's a very lightweight acrylic. It almost, um, you guys know juniper berry necklaces? It feels like that, but it's not that. But I guess this could be some kind of um, uh, ah, seed shell something. I don't know. 
Um, okay, it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous peach color. Let's get a total length. Oh boy, I missed a piece of rose quartz. Let's get a total length on that. Total length of 16 inches or so, you guys. 16 inches. It's really pretty peachy. Spring ring. Let's do this one for, let's do just $3. $3. Okay. These are really neat. I like these. Check these out. So I think they do have some wear, but the way they manufactured them with all the hammering and everything, the wear looks like part of it, like part of the antiquing, doesn't it? I think it does. Um, really cool. It's a three bracelet set. Um, you can stack them however you would like. They measure eight inches, eight inches, and I'm just gonna do $3, basically a dollar bracelet. Bargain. <laughs> So yeah, I've started putting things aside for the auction. I am so excited. Oh guys, I love this bracelet. Check this out. It's like a brassy tone um, or an antique gold. Look at, look from the side. See the Rivolis? Look at purple Rivolis. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then a magnet clasp. And this isn't, um, so it's almost like a clasped bangle, if that makes sense. It holds its shape. Um, let me get a size on it. It is a seven and a half, I would say, maybe a little bit bigger. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to do $5 on this one. $5. Okay. So we snowed. We had snow like all weekend, you guys. And then we're getting snow tonight and tomorrow. And then we're getting snow again on Friday, I think. It's been crazy. Look at these beautiful shell earrings. Um, it looks like there is a little nick. Can you guys see that? A little nick. Um, I'm just going to go a dollar on them then. And I will give them a number. A dollar. Instead of putting them in craft. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh boy, that is not in good shape. It's an Alex and Ani. And very worn um is that someone's initials i didn't think they would do that hmm i'm not sure you guys i know some of you know more about uh, alex and ani for sure okay let's just see because alex and ani did make okay they did make sterling um but i have found alex and ani's aren't always magnetic when they're not sterling but we'll test it just in case um if it is sterling then it's in fine shape because people like it that way. Okay, this. Okay, this piece I did look at for a long time. <laughs> there was one, in full disclosure, there was one strand of beads that I cut out because it was broken. So we just had a little runaway from that. Um, I really think this is bone, you guys. Uh, that's the only reason I'm showing it to you. I believe it's bone. Um, you have some carved elephants. Um, you have this piece here. I just think it's bone from the research I've done. If it's not bone, I do not want to sell it, but I, I really think it is. Um, let me get you a drop on it. It's very, very pretty. Um, I remember one time Texas Gal Treasures, it's a 10 and a half inch drop. Texas Gal Treasure talked about getting ivory in her, um, you know, in jewelry boxes and jewelry lots that she would buy. And she talked about, you know, what should she do with it? Does that look like... I'm going to turn this other light on. I'm sorry, I bonked the camera. Let's see if you guys can see. That's what makes me think it's bone. Would they ever put bone and ivory together? I have no idea. But do you see all the dots? That's what makes me think it's bone. Anyway, Texas Gal Treasures, um, I remember her saying that she didn't know what to do with her ivory. She keeps it in a little box, the ivory that she finds. Um, let's do this for eight, you guys. And then she was thinking about maybe burying it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think that's the perfect solution for ivory, personally, is to bury it. Because, I don't know, an animal passed away to give you that, you know? Um... Okay, is that a little wear? It's, it, you know, it might be a misplaced mother of pearl piece. This is really pretty. Abalone and mother of pearl. 
These might be stone, these guys, quartz. We'll check it on the gem tester. It is a stretch. I would say there's just a little bit of wear to it, you guys. Has good stretch. Let's see if this ball is quartz. I feel like it is. Whoopsie. I'll tell you what the gem tester says, you guys, unless I have no idea, and then we'll look at it. It's on the quartz line, you guys. Gorgeous. Um, let's do four dollars. Four dollars. All right. Okay, this is Monet, you guys. You can tell by that clasp too. That was a Monet clasp, a Monet thing, silver tone. It looks to be in perfection condition, perfect condition. Check that out. I like it. I'll show you the chain up close. That's cool. I like it. Kind of a box chain, kind of. It has like a squared off feeling. Really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, let's do five dollars. Five dollars on the money. So I've been trying to think of what this is called and now I can't get it. <laughs> it is a pendant, but it's called something when it's this kind of pendant. Enhancer. Yes. So I want to hear a funny story. I was trying to think of that word forever. I was riding in the car with my husband. I'm like, I'm trying to think of the word for um, this thing that you add to, can add to pearls. <laughs> and I'm like, I cannot think about it. Think of it. Guess what, guys? That goes up to the J. Hold on. I'm going to wait till it goes all the way down. Let me show you, actually. This is fun. So this, it has a little blue stone. Oh, it's barely on the topaz line. Could it be blue topaz? So it's either jadeite spinel or blue topaz. It's blue. I'm thinking topaz, but I get nervous saying for sure. You know me. Um, let's go. Oh, does it say? Oh, guys, it says something in there. Does that say Joan Rivers? Hold on. I got to look closely. It says Judith... Judith something Thailand. Someone I haven't heard of, I guess, because I'm not sure. Oh, Judith Ripka. I've heard of them. Her. Thailand and 925. Okay. Um, I wonder, does Judith Ripka always work in Sterling? I didn't know who Judith Ripka was. We'll test that, guys. Um, until recently, actually. I just hadn't heard that. Okay. We've got a little pair of stud earrings. A little faux pearl in a beautiful bronzy coppery color. Those are cute. That's not <laughs> my broken nail. Oh my gosh. I had a crack way down low and like every time something touched this nail, it felt like it was going backwards and it finally broke. Those are pretty. I like those. Um, let's do $3. $3 on the studs. Okay. We have to remember to leave time to test. Okay, this is a kind of funky piece, you guys. It was in there. I've told you how I feel about feathers. They kind of wig me out, but I think this is really neat. Look at You could wear it on your lapel. I think it's really pretty. Um, it goes together with a very strong magnet. Okay, so you put that on the inside of whatever and that on the outside. I think it's really pretty, you guys. I'm going to do this for $4. $4. I have it in a um, gallon size Ziploc, all spread out and flat. So I will make sure it gets to you without damage as much as possible. <laughs> I don't think it will get damaged. I'll pack it really carefully. I try to pack my things like they're the Hope Diamond. I want them to make it to you without any damage. That is my goal. It doesn't always happen. It happens sometimes, but I try hard. There's a barrel clasp. Got some black and gold, that gorgeous color combination, and some beautiful cloisonne. So, so pretty, you guys. Let's get a drop on this. Um, I think it's going to be a good drop. It looks like 11 inches or so. It's 11 and a half. Okay, 11 and a half inches. Let's do $5, you guys. Bargain. One of my friends out there loves cloisonne. I can't think of who it is. I'm sorry. Um, but somebody does. Okay, sorry guys, I'm getting to the bottom over here. 
I might have to grab some more out of the bag. Okay, this necklace I thought was really cool. Um, I have a little thread hanging here. It might have been a price tag. Um, yeah, it looks like it probably was a price tag. Um, so I think these are ceramic. Uh, along with that, I think that's ceramic. You can tell if you can see like white on the inside, which I'm having a hard time seeing, but I think that's ceramic. But look how cool this is. This is the part that hangs down in the front and then it goes up to here. It's gray and black and gold tone. Really pretty. Um, some of the gold tone looks a little brassy down here, you guys. Um, just so you know. What material are those? Those might be ceramic too, you guys. Possibly. It's really pretty. I wanted you to see this gray up close. My lighting is bizarre. I have so much sun coming in from right over here, as you can probably tell. It's probably not helping anything. It kind of looks like there's clouds, you know? It's really, it's really cool. Will you guys hold on while I close the blinds? I think you'll be able to see better. So you're going to have to hold on or you're going to have to leave me, but don't leave me. <laughs> okay. I think we'll be in better shape here. Yeah. It's a little lighter than it's showing, but yes, you can see it a little bit better. Cool. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do $6 on this one, you guys. $6. Okay, we have some faux pearls. Actually, I don't know. I didn't test them, but they seem, I guess these could be like little fresh waters. Uh, let's see. No, faux, you guys. Okay, so these are long strands. Let's see how many. I'm not sure. Three, maybe. Holy guacamole. What are these called? Theater length or something? A really long length of a necklace. Oh boy, there's a knot. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so yes, it is three strands, you guys. I have a little knot right here. Check out how huge, how long these are. Are you ready? Still going. There's my knot. <laughs> Still going. Ah, I can't even reach, you guys. I couldn't even hold them high enough. Okay, three strands faux pearls with little silver tone beads. They are a very pale, beautiful gray color and like an off-white color. These are so pretty, you guys. I love them. Okay, let's do the three strands. How about if we do um, $2 a strand, we'll go $6. Cause we're doing bargains, don't forget. Bargain deals, I get a bargain, so you get a bargain. Passing them on. Pay it forward, right? Okay, this is really cool guys. It's in the Sincerely Southwest box, um, which I found Carolyn Pollock in. But I have not researched if um, Sincerely Southwest does a bunch of stuff like if it's just a store and people sell there but I haven't looked at that so I don't know I'm trying to fix it so you can get the full effect of this you guys it's really pretty um so it's like brass and what I think is um sterling we're gonna test it uh it is not it is marked right there 925 right there it's really pretty oh and what does it say down here brass China. Oh, you guys, it's RLM. Robert Lee Morris, RLM Studio. Oh, this one says Studio. RLM Studio. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so we're going to test the rings and the bail and see if it's 925. Okay. So let's put that up here. And then we have this necklace that was with it. Um, is this 925? It does say 925 right there, you guys. So I will keep it with it. I don't see RLM anywhere, I don't think. Um, let me look with the loop just in case. 925 Italy. Eight nine one. 
interesting. Is 891 a gold mark? No, it said 925. I don't know what 891 means. Okay, so I'll keep that with it. We'll test it after just to make sure. Um, we've got a little good little test pile. That's awesome. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. I believe this is acrylic or resin made to look like stone. Very cool. Let's get, see how it goes together here. Oh, sorry, that's probably so loud, you guys. I apologize. It has these little stations too. All right, does it clip on each other? Okay, is there a clasp? No. Okay, you guys, it's an infinity. I am not sure what the bottom is. We'll, we'll start here and we'll do a drive-by. It's silver tone with cool little um, acrylic or, they feel heavier than acrylic. Maybe that is stone. Hmm. They're heavy and they're cool. Um, those might be stone, you guys. Is that like a Dalmatian, Jasper? Uh, I'm not positive on that. I need my rock royalty, Randy, and my rock goddess, Lee. Let me know. And I have another friend out there. Veronica has been very helpful, too. Um, okay, it's pretty. Uh, let's do a... I don't think it's sterling. Nope. Let's just test it for fun. Nope, not sterling, not precious metal. Really pretty. I'll throw the gem tester on it, see if it reads as anything. Nope. Doesn't mean it's not stones. Okay, let's do $5. I like the different tones in that necklace. I am so drawn to black and white. When I was a kid in the 80s, 90s, um, more 90s, honestly, I'm more of a 90s kid. Um, my parents let me paint my room whatever color I wanted, and I picked red. Like, I'm talking like crayon, Corolla, crayon, red. This is really pretty, you guys. I don't tend to like illusion necklaces, but I really love this one. I'm gonna put it on the bust. Um, maybe. Yes, I am. Haha. <laughs> because I feel like I was blocking the light, and maybe she needs to shine on her own. She needs room to shine. It's so pretty. I think this one is so pretty, you guys. I love it. Okay, illusion necklace. Let's get um, let's do a total length for you on this one, okay? Do a total length, including the extender. Dun, dun. including the extender oh my gosh I know what I have to tell you 17 and three quarter guys including the extender let's do um let's do five dollars for the beautiful illusion gorgeousness five dollars so you guys thank you so much for um all the kind wishes about my mom's friends um, I appreciate it so much. And Linda actually commented that she appreciated it so much. Um, <laughs> Ooh, geez, excuse me. Linda is home. Um, they feel like possibly they stopped the, a heart attack. Um, you know, cause when you get to the hospital, they give you all the aspirin and all that good stuff. Um, but she is okay. She's doing well. I appreciate all your love and prayers. My mom's friend from college, Lainey. Um, she's still, she's still fighting. So, um, you know, if you had some more prayers in there or good vibes or, uh, send the universe to, you know, be some light on her, whatever you believe in, we'll take it for Lainey. She's my godmother. She's wonderful. Um, we're going to do $3 on these, you guys, $3. Lainey is, and her husband are so funny. Lainey is, um... I'm going to guess here because I don't know for sure, but Lainey is like four foot ten. She's very, very short. A uh, little bangle has some wear, though. I'm going to do a dollar and craft. It is a size seven and a half. And her husband, who is my godfather, um, is like six three. I'm not even joking. It's so funny when they're to get stand together, like for a photo or anything. Look at this, you guys. I like this. It looks like it was like antiqued silver, but there's not much of that left because it gets, or maybe it's just turn. Well, this is what makes me think antique silver in here. Oh, guys, it says something. 
It says a lot of somethings. Let's look. Uh, Freiburg? Sterling. All right, I think it says C. Freiburg Sterling. Now, that is called Carl Freiburg, and his pieces go for a good amount of money. And if I remember, he's from uh, Denmark. Mm, I think so. C. Fee. Oh, I might be wrong, guys. C. Feebergly. All right, so here's what we're going to do we're going to test it. We're going to make sure it's sterling. I'm going to look it up. And tomorrow we're doing the same jewelry lot on Treasure Hunt Tuesday. And I will tell you what I come up with. This is a really cool little bag, guys. It's like a little jewelry bag. It's like linen. Um, if anybody's interested, I'll do it for a dollar. It's soft surroundings. Drawstring. It's really cool. Dollar. Um, what should, we'll give it a number so it's easier. A dollar. A number 31. Um... Okay, so I have a broken pair of earrings. They just need some glue. E6000 would be what I recommend, you guys. Um, they're cool. They're wood. They're pierced. And then this one just came off of here. And I didn't glue it before I showed it to you. So I'm going to offer them for a dollar. Just know that you'll have to glue. <laughs> E6000 is like amazing, amazing, amazing glue. I use it for any time I craft with rhinestones and such like that. I have to get a few more pieces, you guys, and then we actually, we should probably test, huh? Okay, those will have to wait till tomorrow. All right, put those to the side. Let's get our stone. Okay, let's talk about testing, you guys. So, what do all the YouTubers and a lot of people, I would venture to say most people that test sterling use to test sterling. They are using 18 karat gold testing solution. The reason they use that is because if you use sterling testing solution, the line, when it's showing positive for sterling, turns a rusty red brown color. And it's hard to see on the black stone. Some people will use a white stone like this, um, but it's hard to see. So that's why we use 18 karat on sterling. Um, the reason is that's how you get that easy to see blue line. So 18 karat testing solution reacts with sterling silver to make a blue white iridescent line okay so i just wanted to talk about that let's do this piece first remember this cool pendant rlm studios this is gonna be hard to scratch you guys it's it's dainty can i get a good scratch kind of do you see it <laughs> not really not really joy okay and let's get the bail Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to here because I remember you guys can see a little bit better um, if it's down lower. Uh, okay, here's the chain. Da -da, wrap it around your finger because you're trying to get surface area for scratching. And then bend your knuckle. Scratch away. That looks good to me. So guys, do your guessing what you think is sterling. And then let me know how your guesses were. <laughs> Tell me how you did. Okay, now this is going to be hard to test on this card. So let's see what we can do. So what I do, guys, um, when I'm testing, if I have a piece that has more than one piece to it, kind of like I did with the pendant, um, I keep them together on top of each other and just kind of try to remember that pendant, um, pendant on the bottom, chain on the top. And I do it every time like that meeting pendant first this says suspicion i don't know if that's where it came from oopsie don't take that out of your line up julie okay we got the alex and ani let's scratch oh interesting interesting look at that scratch you guys um let's try to scratch this nice and lightly maybe on the bottom of this extender that's the other thing guys you gotta be careful because you can damage your piece Hybrid brown. Okay. Ooh, you guys, I think this is going to be a good showing. Are you ready? Let's do it. So we're watching for 
blue white kind of iridescent -y color Ooh, Nelly! Oh, you guys! Dun, dun, dun. Look, they're all blue. That's so exciting! Oh my goodness, I love it when that happens. Okay, let's set this aside. I'll clean it after. And let's just get some pricing on these, okay, you guys? I think that I will um, look this up tonight and tell you a price tomorrow and try to figure out that, um, that marking a little better. Okay, so let's do the RLM Studios pendant, which is absolutely gorgeous, with the chain, and I will um, include this Sincerely, Sincerely Southwest box with it. Um, let's do that for, I don't know how his stuff is priced. Let's do 20, 20, $20 on that one. I think that's still a good deal. If not, if it doesn't sell, I'll check it, <laughs> but I think it's a good deal. Okay, we have this gorgeous piece of sterling. This is stunning, you guys. What size is this? Did I measure this already? I can't remember. Eight and a quarter. It is heavy. Like, this is a nice piece. Um, I'm going to do 15 on this one, guys, okay? 15. Okay. All right. This gorgeousness, I should probably tell you the length of this necklace, shouldn't I? It's not super long. It's not super short either. Uh, has a little tiger's eye. Um, and tiger's eye is part of the quartz family. Thank you, Leah. Um, it is a nine inch drop, you guys. Nine inch drop and I was off camera. I apologize. Let me just see if this is reading on the quartz line. I don't think it would not. Yeah, it is. It's very close to it. Um, I think I might need to calibrate. Okay, so sterling silver. You know what? I'm just going to put this in. Gorgeous necklace. Scarab. Let's do, we'll do 15. 15. I think that's a really good deal. 15. Okay. And then um, the Alex and Ani in sterling. That's so cool. Is this a, um, is that someone's name? Uh, someone's initials? A monogram? There we go. <laughs> um, let's go 10 on the Sterling on it, Alex and Ani. And let's see. The Enhancer. Judith Ripka. Let's go 12. 12 on the Enhancer by Judith Ripka. Okay. That was so fun. I love the Sterling at the end. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much. Answer my questions in the comments if you feel like it. I love reading your comments. Sometimes I don't respond super quickly, but I do see them all. I think um, if you ever want to get a hold of me and you, for some reason, I'm not answering in my um, email, something's wrong. I'm not getting your email. So comment on my latest video. Sometimes I don't catch all of the comments you guys make when you respond to me. So if you comment and then I respond and then you respond again, sometimes I don't catch that second response. I'm sorry, I try to. I honestly think I don't always get notified about that, but I'm not sure. So anyway, um, I'm babbling. I apologize. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna do the same thing, shooting for three videos this week. If we do four, hey, pat on the back. Have a good night, you guys. Bye-bye.